<laughs> Good morning, Ellie. I think she's excited. All right, I know what you guys are here for. I'm not going to bore you with morning chores. So I'm going to get feet and done here with the MDS Iron Eagle real quick. And then we're going to hop over and see this crazy machine in action. I suppose they better shut this gate before I leave. I'm pretty anxious over here, pretty excited. Hopefully I can sneak over there before anybody else is there and get a nice close look. Oh, looks like they're here and ready to go. Just look and admire. Looks like it's got 18,000 pounds in that box. That can do quite a few acres depending on what your rate is. Oh my, it's moving. Oh, it's got four-wheel steer on there. So they're just loading up the fertilizer that they need for today, and then that other semi-truck's gonna take off. Right now they're doing some, they're making some boundaries and stuff. Pretty much you just set up the boundary, is what I'm gathering, and then it'll, it just goes. It goes, and it covers 90 foot at a time. It's got a new liter box on it, and on the back it's got a spreader that actually moves. So it's almost like row shutoffs, even though it's a spreader. You know, like planters, it can, you can shut off individual rows. Well, that spreader in the back moving, it will actually make it so you can direct the stuff where you want it to go, the product, whatever you're spreading. I've been told Ravens made about nine of these. Five of them are still at their uh, at their headquarters. They're just doing tests and trying to perfect it. Four of them are actually out. And I think this is the only one in South Dakota right now, and it's here, and we get to see it today. And you better believe I brought the drone. This is gonna be fun. The whole sneak over here before everyone else didn't work good. I could assume that. Nobody, it's pretty easy to get up in the morning earlier than coal. I like my sleep. All right, waiting, we'll check on the cow water over here. So y'all know we've been hauling water every day to the cows. Well, dad was talking to our neighbor right here, right next to a, where our cows are at. And she kind of mentioned that she want, she's been wanting a hydrant out closer over here to her tree so she can water her horse wherever that is and also water some plants and trees back here. That helped us out because now we got access to some water and then we don't have to be hauling a water tank out a couple times a day. We got that put together yesterday, got a freeze miser on there so we don't have to worry about it freezing over and don't have to shut it off, turn it on. That was a mutually beneficial deal. Uh, Dad's paying for them to put the water line in and she gives us access to her water and it's just kind of a win-win. So it's just starting here. You can see down there in the distance driving along we're working on the boundary and right here you can kind of see its path and that it's spreading on all 16 sections and there's kind of a big map of the field this is our uh, 240 acre field so it's got a lot of spreading to do all right you want to say that again so it's got two different applications that it can do three so this will do uh this unit comes with a, a, a G5 spinner box, new liter, and then it comes with a um, 120 foot sprayer uh, with a 1200 gallon tank, I believe. And then it comes with an air seeder. And uh, the way it works is everything unhooks, um, kind of like a combine headwood um, with your main hydraulic plug in one handle pull. And then you have your two power cords. Um, you have four legs that you unpin, they just set down in the machine. There's a button on the remote that the machine just uh, over cams and sets the box down on the ground and you just drive out of it. And then once you um, back into the new equipment, it lines up with the pins and it pulls itself on and locks and then you pick the legs up and plug it in. So I think it's about five to six minutes. Um, you can swap uh, between units, so it's, <laughs> it's pretty impressive. When it wants to dump off, these cylinders rock back. And this, this deal would, would rock flat and then this would be down all the way and then you can drive out of it. Hmm. And these legs just drop down. down. Yep. yep. Um, it seems almost kind of simple. Your frame and then a box and then kind of your power unit and a lot of brains in that area. But looking at it, it just almost looks like it doesn't have much to it. But obviously it's going to be an expensive, full of technology, like maxed out all the way type of machine.
kind of capacities and you know what's it got for an engine how fast does it drive all that sort of stuff okay um so the capacity on it is we've had up to twenty thousand pounds in it but it it new liters standard is nine nine ton box nine ton. is what they consider it g5 box so it's got 16 section control on it that is very fascinating to actually watch that and then border wise i like to operate it about eight six to eight mile an hour going around the borders just because when you're coming up to turns it it wants to be a little bit slower going around the turn and i set it there's a setting on the computer where you can set the curve speed and the then as it's driving down a straighter line so going around the curve i set it about three mile an hour and then eight mile an hour just around headlands once we get done with the headlands then we can go 11 mile an hour through the field and then it actually make that corner at eight mile an hour then hmm. to turn around so good operating speed right now is probably 11 11 mile per hour yeah, going back and forth through the 90 field. foot spread that you're covering foot some speed. acres yep we figure probably 90 acres an hour probably <laughs> with it and especially like say mzb field here in your guys' field i mean we can go we'll get most of the field done with what we got we ended up loading it up to about eighteen thousand pounds this time on the field it's got about 175 horse cummins motor on it that runs all the hydraulics it's a completely hydraulic system four-wheel drive hydraulic tires what's it got for like fuel i can run a couple days on full tank and yeah actually we ran over um about 320 acres before we had to fill it's got a 90 gallon tank on it mm -hmm. def tanks for about i think it's about a nine gallon def tank def we were running four days before we we had to fill it up again and we put five gallons in it last week and we're still running on that five gallons hmm. still got 33 percent according to the computer here nice and then uh neil just filled it with fuel today and we got 86 percent i bet that'll last us two days three days so this is just a controller that actually you can kind of take it into a manual mode if you need to move it around where you need to this is actually your forward reverse this will be your left and right and then on the left back here there's another little joystick just like this at one speed and then the other side's rpms <laughs> and then this will be like your emergency so generally when you get done with it when you want to go back to autonomy mode you'll push that in wait just a couple seconds and then re-click it back out and then um, the lights on the machine red is there's something wrong with it uh, orange is your autonomy mode and then green is actually you're connected to it manually <laughs>
So what you guys think? It looks, uh, I was talking with Alan in there. Uh, we both think it looks like that AT, AT machine or whatever, that, that thing from Star Wars. It's like a boxy death machine, but yeah. You can see in that drone video at the end, the spinner's moving. That's how it kind of directs where it's going and shuts off rows, rows. But yeah, it was really cool. Comment below what you think about it. Uh, it was definitely fun hanging around that thing. It's gonna spread that field and then another one of our fields where actually those cows are at right now. So that was a new product, kind of the uh, beginning stages of maybe a new product from Raven. And so how that got out here, Raven built about nine or 12 of those machines and sent a few of them out. And so our local co-op is one of the one of the places that they wanted uh, to test it out, get it tested out and you know, be like, well, what's, what, what do you think needs changed and what needs work done? And so our agronomist said, hey, what do you say this uh, autonomous machine comes out? And I asked if we could film it. And uh, of course, we got some sweet video of that. So we were gonna fertilize some of our own fields today, but it's starting to get windy. I'm sure they're gonna be shutting down. It's, it's starting to get real windy. So instead of sitting in the nice tractor cab, we're gonna fence. So this is that really bad fence. Dad and I tore it all out yesterday and we got the four wires hung. We got that half over there all the way finished. And so we just gotta lay the posts out, pound them in, and then we're gonna string one more wire. So we're just about done with this already. Dad's had enough of sitting around today, so he's ready to rock. I pick things up and put them down. Yeah, I'll get you some wood. Man's got a hankering for wood. Slappy time. on that new fence. Gate time. Let's see, I'll get the hammer, the staple, the stretcher, and the number nine wire. Meanwhile, Cole holds the camera and pretends that we're working. And there it is. How many miles we put in this year, Dad? About a third of a mile. About two miles, I think. That's a lot of miles. We're about half done. We're actually doing more this year. It's December. How much more you wanting to do? That there. Three quarters of a mile. Three quarters of a mile. It'll be funner. Oh, says who? <laughs> Three quarter mile. Hmm. Song of the day. Tom Petty, Saving Grace. Love the beat. So I get to check something off the list. Another fence. Biggest fencing project is ahead of us. It is not in a cornfield, it's in a bean field. We're just gonna get it tore out and start on it for next year. And if the weather holds, we'll have it ready to go because next fall when we take the calves off the cows, the cornfield will be right next to their pasture and we can just open the gates. We're gonna get this trailer unloaded and then we got a pallet of 200 at T-Post that we're gonna run over to store load. We had a customer coming in wanting a big order so we got some extra and we're gonna let him take those.
to ride on a different skid loader today. <laughs> pallet two pallet three pallet we got a lot of barbed wire left so i guess if anyone's got a december project yeah, going we do we got fencing supplies made it this far i appreciate it thanks for watching i hope you thought that was awesome it was something i've never experienced before that autonomous machine and that's gonna probably be the wave of the future just imagine it you know how you play farm sim sitting at home that's what farming's probably gonna end up being like you're just gonna be sitting at home there's gonna be screens you're gonna be running a controller and doing your farming just like that you gotta adapt or you get left behind but thanks for watching we really appreciate it love to see you next time have a, have a good one. Wow. Did the cab fall off that thing? Where's the guy riding in it? I don't see a cab. Looks like a Gleaner Combine. It's silver. <laughs>